hello guys and welcome once again to kind party so today we are going to talk about some more vacancies that are currently available in the united arab emirates in the healthcare field we are going to talk about opd clerks nursing assistants registered nurses and laboratory technologies so if you are interested kindly follow the video up to the end kindly watch the video up to the end because i will show you the vacancies and i will tell you what you need to do so, so that you can apply for these jobs so the first hospital that we are going to talk about today is of course mediclinic hospitals so for you to search for a job in mediclinic you need to go to mediclinic just on just you can just go to google and type mediclinic middle east you can just type mediclinic middle east and when you type you just click you can click the career section or you can just click mediclinic middle east When you click you come to their website and now i'm going to show you some of the vacancies that they have so that you can apply and for those who have already applied then good if you have not applied then you can now watch and i'll show you and i'll tell you what you need to do to us to apply so if you come to the right hand side you see careers you click your careers when you come here you see the various uh, fields so you can just click search so as to go directly just click search and when you click search you see that they have 58 jobs available so you can just now uh, filter as per the region or as per the country or city so you click we are in the United Arab Emirates so we click the UAE and say and click search so they currently have 33 vacancies the first one there is a specialist for monology and the second one you see an OPD clack so this is what i want to tell you so if you're a nurse assistant if you are a registered nurse if you are someone even without a license that you are looking for an entry level job in the hospital then this is for you i want you to look at this job and apply because an opd clerk as you know is someone that works in the outpatient department as a clerk so this person helps the patients helps the doctors in the unit in the administrative part and also helps to make sure that the flow in the unit and everything works properly so you can take care of stocks you can take care of patient flow administrative work uh, and all other administrative duties in the unit and sometimes you can even take care of the weight or the vital signs of some patients it depends on the unit that you work in so for an opd clerk the currently mediclinic actually needs an opd clerk in mediclinic i hear her in uh, alain so for those in Alain, you can apply, but this is the best place for you to apply. When you come to their website, all you need to do is click the position. Close this. You come here, you see the position, they need just one person. So you see the key responsibilities areas. You see the required education, they need someone with a high school diploma or equivalent. And the desired qualification or education, they need someone with a secretariat diploma. But this does this does not matter. If you are someone who has a high school diploma, especially you have an advantage if you have a nursing background. Those who are nursing assistants or a registered nurse or someone who is struggling to get a job, this is a good job for you to apply because when you get into the hospital, you get a lot of experience and it might allow you to go in one of the best hospitals in the United Arab Emirates. So this is a very nice position. It's a wonderful uh, position to have and you get a good salary. I think not, not less than 4,000 rams that you are going to get. You can get more. So Mediclinic, as you know, is one of the best hospitals in the country. So you can actually come here. You read the required experience, you need at least one year experience. But again, this doesn't matter. If you are qualified, even without the experience, they might give you a call. As long as you are willing to learn, you will get and you can defend yourself during the interview, then you will be fine. The required job skills, they need someone with the basic medical terminology, computer literacy is very important, insurance claim procedures, stock control principles because you are going to manage the stocks in the unit, and verbal and written communication skills. So if we want to apply, we have to click apply. If you click apply, If you click apply you come here and you need to put your email address and your password so for those who already have an account this is what you have to do but if you don't have if you don't have an account you need to come here and click create an account and you fill in the information and you have an account before you can apply right so 
if we go back to the other opportunities we have another opportunity here for a pharmacist so they need a pharmacist in medical clinic al bawadi in alain one of their clinics in alain so if you are interested you can also apply and they need a consultant obstetrician and gynecologist and this is another position again for an assistant nurse this was this was posted a few days ago just about two days ago so if you are interested you can apply this is assistant nurse in the outpatient department so this is opd so if you are creating your cv you are, i want you to go back to your cv each time you see a job like this go back to your cv try to update your cv and and put the title of your cv or put the title in your cv that assistant nurse outpatient department so or you go back to your summary section and try to update your summary section and try to let them know that you are actually applying or your specialty is in the outpatient department because it will give you a higher chance right so if you click assistant nurse opd medical clinic you come here and the required education this is a required education they need required education is essential is a nursing diploma so you need someone with a nursing diploma so you don't need to have a license they need someone with a nursing diploma so they're not asking for a license here because normally when they want a license they normally put it here but at the end of the day if you have a license you have an advantage so if you have your a nursing diploma or you have a bachelor's degree in nursing then this will be good for you because the salary is really good you get i think about 6,000 dirhams or more if you work here as an assistant nurse in medic clinic it's a very good company they pay uh, far better than uh, different companies so they have a required experience in it essential is at least two years in your own in your own country so if you have at least two years experience in your home country then you have an advantage you see so they said they need someone with at least two years in their own in their own country in your home country so a UE experience is desired normally but essential is at least two years of experience in your home country so if you have that experience then i want you to apply because you have a chance in getting this job the key responsibilities you have to deliver patient care under the supervision of a registered nurse in collaboration with the multi-professional team according to the set clinical standards and relevant legislation the next thing you need to make sure is that you ensure patient safety by identifying, preventing, and managing risk in accordance with appropriate MACME risk policies. Contribute to learning learning environment that builds employee competence. So that is a good opportunity for an assistant nurse. If you are interested, please apply as soon as possible. That's another, this is another position again for a registered nurse in the oncology. As you know, oncology this the oncology department deals with cancer cases. So if you're someone who is interested in working in a such uh, a unit or if you have an experience in the oncology department, then you can apply in Medi Clinic Alain Hospital. So again, if you want to apply, you know the normal procedure, click, create an account and apply. And please always update your CV. When you see a position, don't just send your CV that you have been sending to different places. Update it and it will take you just a few seconds to update. The next position here again is an OPD clerk. They say a non UAE licensed nurse. So they need someone who is a licensed nurse, but a non UAE licensed nurse. This is Medi Clinic Alain Hospital. So it, this is one of their big, their biggest hospitals in the uh, the country. So this is hospitals in Alain. So they want an OPD clerk, a non UAE licensed nurse. So you can be licensed in your home country. If you are someone who is licensed in your home country, then you can apply for this position like i said the, the first one this one the opd clerk they did not ask for something like that so but this one they're asking for someone who is a licensed nurse in their home country not in the uae so that's why i told you that if you are a nurse it is good to apply for opd clerk positions it is very interesting you can be tied to one doctor you can be working with a single doctor like a cardiothoracic uh, surgeon they can put you with a consultant so you are you are you will be working only with that doctor so you'll be the one in charge of making sure that to book appointments for patients to prepare to call patients to check their insurance eligibility and all that so the next position here you have a registered nurse in the opd again in the outpatient department in medical clinic alain so there are so many 
so we can see that there are so many opportunities this time in Alain. So they are they are hiring so many uh, different clinics in and around Alain. If you are someone interested, if you are a registered nurse in the OPD, in the outpatient department, you have experience, then it is good to apply. So what is the requirement? They need someone with a bachelor's degree in nursing. So if you have, so if you are someone with a bachelor's degree in nursing, then this is for you, especially if you have your eligibility letter. Prepare a good CV, and I've been helping people to prepare their CVs. I hope that they get a good result. The next position that we're going to talk about is uh, after the registered nurse in the OPD, is another one, a clinical psychologist. That's another position available. This is another position again for assistant nurse in Mary Clinic Airport Road. So this is a good position for an assistant nurse in Mary Clinic Airport Road. So if you click, you will see the position. You can see the required education and need someone with a nursing diploma. So if you have a nursing diploma, you can apply for that position. Another one again, registered nurse in the operation theater, engineering coordinator, anesthesia technologist, registered nurse in the pediatric ward, and registered midwife in the labor and delivery. This is Clinic Park View in Dubai, and ICT support specialist, and registered nurse home care in Ayadi Home Care, Alain, and senior registered nurse in the outpatient department in Clinic Madina Zaid and different positions so the main position that i want you to check on today is uh, this assistant nurse positions and this opd clerk positions and a registered nurse position in uh, oncology and in the opd so you can look into all these positions and apply like i said medical clinic i'm sharing this position in medical clinic because medical clinic is one of the few hospitals that have always been uh, replying or reaching out back to all those who have uh, all those who have applied i have currently two ladies that are actually working in medical clinic and they got their job because they watched this channel and they applied for the job so they did the work themselves and i have another lady who also received an email from them and they told her to actually convert her eligibility transfer her license to the dubai to abu dhabi to heart she had a dha license so they wanted to convert it to heart but there were some difficulties with that so she got she also got uh, all the info from this channel, so I'm very happy. That's why I'm always sharing jobs for medical clinic because I know that if you are qualified, if they actually need you, then they will call you. It is one of those few companies that are actually hiring, and they always reach out to all their uh, candidates. So please take this information serious. Try to apply as soon as you get this watch this video. I will make sure that I always share weekly updates of jobs so that you can all apply. The next hospital that we're going to talk about is the next hospital that we're going to talk about is American Hospital. So go to American Hospital Dubai because it is also a hospital that I love so much as it is also giving opportunities to so many people. So if you go to American Hospital, you just click American Hospital. This is their website. Again, I've done this already in my previous video so in one of my videos so i'm just sharing it because i want you to always be going to these websites so that you can get these updates if you go down on to the website if you go down on the website you see the careers you click careers if you click careers you come to visit career portal you click When you come to the career portal, just click all jobs so that you can see everything. Now when you come to all jobs, you can see on this date on the 13th, which is just a few days ago, 13th of October, they posted this job as a staff nurse in a dialysis. So if you're a nurse, if you're a staff nurse that is interested in working in the dialysis department, you click on apply. So if you click, it's very easy. You don't need an account. You don't need to create an account on this site before you can apply for any job. So when you come, you try to read at the job uh, duties and responsibilities. 
try to read, go through the duties and responsibilities, see the qualifications that they need, try to look at the qualifications that they need. They need someone with a degree to four years general nursing diploma or a degree. So of course, some degrees usually take three to four years. So if you are if you have a bachelor's degree, you are good. A minimum of four years nursing care with at least two years of experience in dialysis specialty. So previous experience in private healthcare institute as an as is an asset. Current license to practice nursing or eligibility. Uh, BCLS certification. So if you click apply, you don't need to have an account. As you can see, they are even telling you that you don't need to have an account. So if you put your email address. You just put your email address and you click next and you actually apply for the job the next job there you see senior pharmacist so if you're a pharmacist you can apply for this one it was also posted on the 13th of october the next one you have locum staff nurse in neurology so this is another position posted recently you can apply for this position you have another position for dental assistant if you're a nurse assistant who is interested in such a position you can apply if you're a registered nurse you can apply so if you are someone who specializes in uh, dental, then you can also apply. You have another position for staff nurse in the diabetic clinic. You have a shift planner operator, a driver, a clerk, driver slash clerk. So if you are a driver, if you are someone who is interested, who has a driver's, a driver's license, and you are interested to work as a driver in the hospital, then this is for you. This is another position for a looking porter. So if you are someone who is interested in working in a hospital but as a porter, porters are those who uh, carry patients' belongings or they transfer things from one place or the other. So sometimes a patient is supposed to be discharged from a room, from a unit, so they can call you as a porter to transport the patient's belongings from the hospital, from the unit, to uh, the patient's car or to uh, the exit point in the hospital where you need to take that patient maybe through a wheelchair or something or you need to carry those belongings to a trolley and you take them to the car of the patient so that is your job you can also be sent to collect some things all around the hospital in different departments so that is the job of a porter in the hospital if you are interested you can apply for this position it's a very good position it will allow you to work in so many different departments in the hospital you know so many people and if you are lucky if you are someone interested in nursing you can actually go from such a position because you create so many contacts in the hospital so there's another position there again for patient relations executive this is uh, those are those who like to work in the front office there's another position for physical therapist clinical coordinator nurse midwife all these positions were posted in october so they are all new uh, vacancies that were updated you have a bmt staff nurse a staff nurse in oncology clinic a locum staff nurse in the oncology again and you have a housekeeper so you have pharmacy technician so so there are so many positions again in American Hospital Dubai. If you are interested, you can apply for these positions. It's very easy to apply. And remember, please update your CV before you apply. The next hospital that we are going to talk about is Rim Hospital. Rim Hospital in Abu Dhabi. So when you go to Rim Hospital, it is located in Abu Dhabi. It's a new hospital, not actually new, but it uh, was opened I think late last year. They, they went functional, so or early this year, earlier this year I think, earlier 2022 or something like that. So they went functional and they are still hiring in so many positions, and they are also an equal opportunity partner. They have an amazing facility. If you scroll down as always you can see the careers you click careers so that you can go and see all the jobs that are currently available in that hospital you see career opportunities so they have currently 16 jobs available so if you click and you expand it to expand you see all the jobs there and this one was posted uh, all in october so this one was posted on the 11th this is special access executive so you have another position here for registered nurse rehabilitation rehab if you are interested you can apply you have another position for registered nurse in pediatric ward medical transcriptionist if you are a medical transcriptionist please apply for this position it's a very good position for you you have registered nurse in the icu a warehouse officer and this is another position for laboratory technologies 
so there are so many positions here for you to apply especially if you are a registered nurse please apply for all these positions they are very interesting positions and this is one of uh, one of the best hospitals at the moment it is also a very good hospital and they are uh, and they keep on hiring new staff on a daily basis because of course they are as compared to the others they are brand new so they keep on uh, requiring more staff as more patients go to the hospital all you have to do to apply to rim hospital is click on any of the positions that you want to apply for you have to click you go to apply and you create an account so if you don't have an account as always you have to come here and click create an account just like MediClinic. you create an account then you submit your application that is all you need to do for rim hospital the next hospital that we're going to talk about is nmc and i'm talking about nmc today because they have actually changed their they have updated their uh, career site so they have changed their career site so they had a previous career site that was a little bit outdated so now they have updated it and you can actually apply to jobs now in their new career site so if you go to their website you go to careers you see it will change they have now is the same platform like american hospital and also like yas clinic so this is your new career site you see almost like the american hospital so they have updated it so if you click all jobs they have currently nine jobs and they posted this job on this 14th of october just yesterday anesthesia technician they need an, an anesthesia technician in their hospital so the second job they posted also just yesterday the 14th you have a dental assistant if you are someone who is interested in such a position please apply asap as soon as possible they also have a new position for head nurse in the ip in ways they have a, a position for respiratory therapist in alain they have a front office executive position in Abu Dhabi, in one of their hospitals in Abu Dhabi. They have another position for radiographer. They have another for phlebotomist, inpatient pharmacist, and laboratory technologies. So if you want to apply in any of these positions, you have to just come and you click the position. You look at the job description, look it very well. If you don't have some of these key points in your CV, please, you can just copy and just paraphrase. You can just copy any of these and read if you see that your CV is not matching to the job description. Pick some of these things from the job description and put in your CV. That is the best way. That is how it works. Because you are qualified. You have. You can do all these things. But maybe you can do all these things on this job description. But maybe you have not placed them in your CV. So what do you do? Get them, put them in your CV. Because it will make you to rank high in their search. And it will also give you an opportunity to get a call for an, for an interview. So these are your duties and responsibilities you make sure you read them very well and you see the qualifications and you click apply so in nmc where you click apply you don't need an account to apply you don't need to have an account so again just like american hospital you can just put your email address and that is it you click next and you upload your cv It'll show you a place to upload your cv and that's all so that is nmc so their old side you can no longer get a job from there so this is their new site this is the way that their website is functioning now so that is why they have not posted yet. that's why you will not see so many different jobs because they started posting on this page on the 13th of october this is their new site i saw it on linkedin when their ceo launched this new site where they are going to put all their jobs another hospital that we are going to talk about today is uh, salama hospital Salma Hospital. The reason I'm talking about Salma Hospital today is because they were uh, originally when they started, it was actually a hospital that was meant totally for rehabilitation of uh, kids. That is only for pediatric cases. So it was it was created only for pediatric cases. As you can see, it was created only for pediatric care. So, but now this hospital it is uh, affiliated to the government. It's a government hospital, but now they have opened a new um, unit that can now cater for adult care 
so as you can see that's why they have pediatric and adult care if you come to the career side this is actually a government affiliated hospital it is uh, owned by the government that is why you see seha and everything so it was actually opened for pediatric cases only for kids but few weeks ago it was recently expanded to include adult care adult rehabilitation so it's a rehabilitation hospital for those who are interested to work in a rehabilitation center uh, or in a long-term care facility you can apply for positions here so you can actually just put your name you put your last name your name and your last name you put your phone your mobile number you put your email address you add your files you can click here and you upload all the CVs that you need to upload and you put a short message here like a cover letter and you submit that is all you need to do to apply here so you, here you are applying for a government, government hospital so working in a government facility is huge and like I said they just expanded to start uh, treating uh, adult patients because it was originally opened just for pediatric cases rehabilitation so now they have expanded just a few weeks ago so they actually need more staff to cover all this so if you're interested you can just come here it's very easy just upload your cv and you put a short message and you apply that's all for summer hospital so guys those are the website that you can actually go to and look for jobs uh, for this october period and going into november like i said just go every time to visit this website and you always see these positions i'm actually keep on i'm actually sharing again just because people always ask me they are sending me messages that please share the vacancies that are available so this is why i go to this website to search and share with you it is very easy for you to go there and search but again it's not, it's not all about searching and applying it's all about searching making sure that you update the cv before you send anyway so please follow the instructions that you see on all these websites and you'll be fine i believe that you'll get a call soon and again, for those who don't have not updating your CVs, please try to update your CV. Match the CV to the job description. Try to make sure that you have a simple CV that is ATS compliant and apply. So guys, that's it for today. And please kindly share this video with someone that needs it. It might help someone. There's someone that might like to apply. And if they apply, they might actually get a call. So don't discourage anyone regarding this. Let them keep on applying. I always say that there are jobs for healthcare workers in the United Arab Emirates, but there are also many people applying. So you need to do something extra. You need to go an extra mile. Do something that others are not doing. And that is about updating your CV before you send every single application. So I wish you all the best and enjoy your time.